Hello guys, Alex here. Are you wondering why it seems like people really talk about Tibet these days? Instead, almost everybody is discussing about Xinjiang, right? Let's look at some interesting statistics here. All right. So if you search Xinjiang on Google News and uh, let's set a time to past year, then we can check the number of results by looking to page source. As you can see, and there are about 2 million and uh, 910 thousand results almost 3 million results and now let's do the same thing to Tibet let's go search Tibet and the time period is also past year and let's go find out the number of results as you can see only 100,000 results remember the number for, for Xinjiang is almost 3 million so can I say that Xinjiang has got 30 times more attention in comparison with Tibet but has it always been this way? Because I clearly remember that Tibet used to be a very hot topic among international communities, right? So now let's take a look at another very interesting chart. Let's go to Google Trends, where you can analyze the popularity of such queries in Google search. Anyway, let's compare uh, Xinjiang and Tibet in the past 12 months, as you can see. This is based on uh, worldwide data. It seems like um, they are pretty close to each other, right? Well, what if we set the time to pass five years? Oh, I have to say this is getting more compelling. So as you can see, before 2018, Xinjiang is only about half as popular as Tibet. This number, you can see, Xinjiang 21, Tibet 40, represent the popularity of that particular search query in Google search. But things started to change in the middle of 2018, right? By the end of 2018, Xinjiang had become as popular as Tibet. So what happened to Xinjiang from 2016 to 2018, especially in this special year, the year of 2018? Anyway, let's jump back to Google News. Let's search news regarding Xinjiang, reported by BBC from January 2016 to January 2018, all right? And sorted by relevance. All out offensive in Xinjiang risks worsening grievances. Will China's new law tackle terror? Orlando shootings. Why 2014 Kunming stabbing is being linked to gun debate? Chinese families reunite 500 members for real photo. This is not related to Xinjiang. Second page. Frustration and fear in the widened Hong Kong. I guess the first page is all we have from 2016 to 2018, right? two whole years that's all news highly relevant to xinjiang we have and now let's set the time from january 2018 to january 2019 and sorted by relevance xinjiang official defense education centers for uyghur muslims october 16 2018 china uyghurs xinjiang legalizes re-education camps October 10, 2018. China Uyghurs. Beijing denies detain 1 million. All right. It's like all of a sudden, BBC started to reporting about re-education camps in Xinjiang. I'm wondering that they just found out the truth in the middle of 2018. Before that, they had no idea about what had happened in Xinjiang. This is weird because according to their report, as you can see, China has said report it, it is holding a 1 million Muslims Uyghur in detention in Xinjiang are completely untrue. They already suspected that 
there was up to one million Muslim Uyghurs had been detained in the re-education camp. This massive scale of activity must took CCP a lot of time and a huge momentum to finish it. But BBC just realized it within a few months of the year 2018. Just, just like what I show you, before January 2018, they had no report regarding re-education camp in Xinjiang. And suddenly, in the middle of 2018, they started to promote this se severe problem in Xinjiang. What can I say? Very, very interesting, right? And now let's get back to the chart and conclude our research today. From 2016 to the early of 2018, Tibet issue could draw much more attention than Xinjiang. At that time, BBC and maybe other Western medias rarely talk about Xinjiang. However, suddenly, they started to promote the severe issue of the re-education camp in Xinjiang in the middle of 2018. More than 1 million of Uyghur Muslims had been detained and BBC's just realized it within a few months. After that, Xinjiang has become more and more controversial among the national community. In the past 12 months, the number of news regarding Xinjiang is almost 30 times more than news related to Tibet. And it seems like the Xinjiang issue has surpassed Tibet to become the most controversial topic regarding human rights issues in China. But I just want to ask, those Western medias who are always condemning China for human rights and freedom. Have the human rights issue disappeared in Tibet? Tibetan people have been waiting for you guys to save them since 1951. And now you gotta just turn your attention to Xinjiang. That is, that is not fair guys. Both Xinjiang and Tibet need you guys to save them. Please save them all instead of dumping them after utilize them all right anyhow you might find this statistics boring but what has been happening behind those boring numbers must be very fascinating i have to say that most of us will never know who are manipulating our attention and emotion invisibly and gradually peace